Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to combine a video and audio file in Windows for free. All right, so we have a video here of some dogs playing. Not too much going on audio-wise. Then we have the song here. So what we want to do is combine both of them so they play together. So we're going to be using the ClipChamp video editor for that. So this is part of Windows, so you probably already have it installed. And if you don't, you could just go to the Microsoft Store, do a search for ClipChamp, and then install it. So let's open it up here. All right, so we're going to create a new video from scratch. So the first thing we need to do is add our media, so our video and our audio file. Do them both at the same time there. So it's got to do a little render on this song here real quick. All right, so now we'll just drag the video to our timeline. And then we'll drag the song right below it here. Then of course you could move it, you know, wherever you want. If you want it to start later, or if you want to cut it off at the end, that type of thing. Or we're going to have it start at the beginning. And now you can see that our song is a lot longer than our video. So what we're going to do for this is just drag it to the end there. But one thing you'll notice is when the video is over, both of them just kind of stop abruptly. So a good way to get around that is to go to the fade option here. So we'll click on the video first. We'll set this fade to five seconds. And you need to click off of it to kind of have it apply there. Then we'll do the same thing for the audio file. Okay, so they're both set to fade out after five seconds. So let's see what that looks like here. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. And of course you could come here and adjust your uh, volume and so on. And if you wanna crop out the volume for the video file, you could put this down to zero or bump this one up. You could do that as well. All right, so now that we have things ready to go, we're going to export it. So here are your options for the free version, 480p, 720p, 1080p. And if you have the pro version, uh, you could do it in 4K but this is telling me that my video has no 4K media, so it wouldn't matter anyways. So I'm gonna do 720p just for the sake of time here. And you can see it starts to export it right away and you have options for uh, sending it to OneDrive, Google Drive, right to YouTube if you have an account, TikTok, Dropbox, and LinkedIn. And then you could also rename the video if you want here as well. I'll just call this Mix. And then if you're saving it to your computer, you'll be prompted when the video is done. I don't know why they don't let you do that beforehand. So we'll have to wait for this to finish. So I will pause the video and be back when it's done. Okay, even though it says save to your computer, it automatically saves to your computer. If I click show in folder, it'll put it in the downloads folder. I'm just going to move this to the desktop for now. Okay, so here's our original and here's our mix. 174 megabytes, same length. So you can see the size is quite a bit larger, but the time is the same. So if we play it here. Notice it kept the other sounds from the video, so that's up to you if you want to mute out the video sounds and just add the music or have them both playing. So let's check the end for the fade out here. All right, so that worked as well. All right, so once again, 
Let's go back here. Import your media, drag them both to the timeline, make any adjustments in the length of your files if you need to crop one or the other. And then if you want to do the fade out, just select the clip, go to fade, put in your fade out time, or you could fade it in as well. Just remember to click off it to have it apply and then export it. And that's all you need to do. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.